Good day everybody. Today we are going to be looking at the con concept of geometry, um, specifically parallel lines, incorporating the concept of fuzzy X or fun as some of you might know it. Now this is generally what parallel lines look like and they are normally marked off with this type of arrow. That's how you know that the lines are parallel. So whether they go across, whether they are diagonal, those are what parallel lines look like. What you do need to note, however, is that parallel lines will never, ever touch. They never meet up. Hence the concept of them being parallel. That's what it means. So the first type of angle that we are going to look at is corresponding angles. Now with corresponding angles, you have a set of parallel lines. You'll see that this is parallel to that. Now, when you are looking for parallel li for for the corresponding angles, you look for the F shape. So the angles are either going to be both below the line or both above the line. Now corresponding angles are equal to each other. So if that is 50, then that will be 50 as well. With cointerior angles, you also have a set of parallel lines, that line is parallel to that line. Now, cointerior angles are not equal, however, they add up to 180 degrees. With alternate angles, you have this line parallel to that line, and you would be looking for the Z or the N shape in your sum. Now, alternate angles lie on opposite sides of the transversal opposite sides of the transversal that's your transversal but they lie between the parallel lines so that's your one parallel line that's your other parallel line so your alternate angle will lie between the parallel lines but on opposite sides of the transversal and they are equal Supplementary and vertically opposite angles, they do not have parallel lines. However, we thought we'd incorporate it into this teaching because you need to know it as it also applies to this part of geometry. So supplementary angles, they add up to 180 degrees. There are no parallel lines. And vertically opposite angles, this is when two lines cut each other to make this X shape. Now, if that is 50, that will be 50. Now, I want you to have a look at this for me quickly. So I'm saying 50. If that's 50, that's 50 because the angles are vertically opposite. But if I have a look at that angle, what would that be? But it will be equal to that one as well. How are you going to find that angle if this one is equal to 50 degrees? Can you tell me? If that's equal to 50 degrees, and that's equal to 50 degrees, what would that one be? Did you say that it is 130 degrees? If you did, you'd be right. Now that one will also be equal to 130 degrees because the two, these two are vertically opposite. Now I know you'll want to know why is that 130. I want you to look at this for me. From there to there. Is that not a straight line? It's a straight line. And angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees, which we learnt here. But this side is also a straight line, meaning that this side of the line also adds up to 180 degrees. So tell me what you notice about this. You should notice that, so what you should notice is that 130 plus 50 plus 130 plus 50 they add up to 360. Why? Because angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. We'll cover that again at a later stage. So let's have a look at this very basic figure here. We have a diagram where we've got 100 degrees. One angle is 100, 100 degrees and we need to find all the other angles. Now what's important to note is whenever you answer questions in geometry, when you make a statement, 
you need a reason. So I cannot simply say angle 1 is equal to 80 degrees with no reason. You need a reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set this out. So our statement is that 180 degrees minus 100 degrees is equal to 80 degrees and what's the reason? The reason is supplementary angles. Now what we encourage you to do is to always be active when you are doing your sums. In other words, you found that angle 1 is equal to 80 degrees, let's fill it in on your drawing. Why do we do this? It helps us when we have to do the subsequent sums. So you can see that angle 2 will be equal to 70 degrees because the angles are vertically opposite. So we can now go ahead and make that statement. So angle 2 is equal to 70 degrees and it's because it's vertically opposite to which angle? It's opposite to angle number 1. Angle 3 is equal to 100 degrees. It is vertically opposite to the given angle. Now let's have a look at number 4, angle number 4. Can you find an angle that is corresponding to angle number 4? Let's pause the video and see if you can find that for me. Angle 4 is equal to 100 degrees because it is corresponding to the given angle of 100 degrees which we were given here. Now what I want to do is I want to help you identify that F shape so that you can see how the corresponding angles lie. Can you see that shape? Look at the blue lines. It's an upside down but also back to front F. Now if you follow the lines you'll see that both the angles are above the line. Remember I said at the beginning both the angles will either be above the line or both the angles in corresponding um, will be below the line. So you can see that 70 and 6 will be corresponding, 3 and 7 will be corresponding, 5 and 1 will be corresponding. Can you find an angle alternate to angle number 5 for me? Pause the video and let's see what answer you get. Did you get 70 degrees? If you got 70 degrees that would be correct. Well done. If you didn't find that alternate angle, that's okay. We'll get it next time. I want you to have a look at the blue lines. If you look at that shape, it's that N or that Z shape we spoke about earlier, which you always look for when you are looking for an alternate angle. So have a look at the shape. And we spoke about the angles being on opposite sides of the transversal. There's your transversal but between the parallel lines, they are your parallel lines. So angle 2 will be alternate to angle 5. Angle 6 is equal to 70, 70 degrees because it is corresponding to angle 2. And what do you think angle 7 will be? Angle 7 will be equal to 100 degrees. Can you find the corresponding angle for me? To number 7, which angle would be corresponding? Angle number 3. That's correct.